For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 6 of the Arsenal Career Mode series here on FIFA 17. In the last one we ended the transfer window and we're of course continuing to stream the series right now. So uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the live streams. If you want to watch these live, link in the description to my Twitch channel. Follow me over there and you can watch these in full over on Twitch or alternatively just wait for them here on the, uh, the YouTube channel to go up as and when they do with the schedule, etc. We've got some monthly uh, scouting reports. I want to have a quick look through these before we get cracking today. Uh, Billy Mitchell looks decent. With regards to these guys, if they're not potential to get to the very, very like 88 plus, then I'm just going to reject them. 80 to 94 for a goalkeeper looks good. We'll keep a, a keen eye on him. But the mid 80s, even like 86, 87 potential as the highest, I'm just going to say no to them because we're Arsenal Football Club, we're going to want the very best of the best. And if they're not going to be the very best of the best, then there's no point looking at them, is there? So uh, we'll continue to reject all of these kids that don't look like they're going to do much. But there's a couple there that uh, are worth keeping an eye on. And Cartier, 79-94, looks decent. Uh, do drop the video a like if you enjoy, by the way, of course, as always. And subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. But uh, I'm going to divert my attention to my Twitch chat right now. So uh, we can uh, we can crack on. We've got Southampton to start today. I'm going to do a squad report in today's episode. We haven't done one yet in a series. So we have Southampton first. And then was it Newcastle? No, Southampton, then Borussia Mucci and Gladbach. Our first Champions League game coming up midweek. And then we'll do a squad report. And then in the next episode, it'll be Huddersfield, Tottenham and Chelsea. Some big games indeed in there. So I'm going to divert my attentions to the Twitch chat and or just continue streaming as I normally would. But you guys will get the important bits here in the highlights. So uh, yeah, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, follow the Twitch channel to watch these live. And let's head into this game against Southampton. Movement, shall we? Lacazette, it's nicely done. And we'll go out wide again. Bayerin will look to pull that back. And Lacazette takes a touch and buries it. We lead with our first proper shot on goal. Alexandre Lacazette, who was misfiring, to be fair, in the last episode, uh, thankfully, finds the back of the net. Taking his time. Alexis getting involved. Oh, stop it, Buffon. You're embarrassing me. There you go. Get crunched. It's going to drop straight to Tamar Lamar. Tamar Lamar. Jan Villa into James Ward Prowse. He's got a decent right foot. Buffon again. Does me again with his dribbling. Oh, it's a good ball in, and Manolas. Well, I was trying to stop that from going out for a um, for a corner, but I wasn't able to. James Will Prowse to take the corner for Southampton, and underneath that is Charlie Austin. He's turned well. He stood that up well, and Manolas wins the header. Mustafi. Oh, Buffal with the extravagant, but straight a check. Thankfully, that could have been dangerous. Well, it was dangerous. It could have led to a goal. Auckland in there to Asensio, and space is the word of the uh, moment for Alexis Sanchez. And that space is opening up here for Asensio as well, who is left-footed, so I get it on that left foot. It's a great block. I probably shouldn't have turned back in towards where the defenders were, but I don't know how good Asensio is on his right foot. What is his weak foot? Let's check for uh, future reference. Future reference, let's check. It's a three-star weak foot. I probably could have taken it on his right. I felt more comfortable taking it on his left, though. Evidently, it was the wrong decision. Never mind, you live and learn. How is that for a ball over the top, by the way, to Buffal? And he's got Charlie Austin here in support, who strikes it very early. And it goes over the top of the bar. That is a waste there for Southampton. A superb counter-attack. Unbelievable ball forward, but wasted by uh, Charlie Austin. Just smacking it straight into the stands. Yes, Alexis. Or dink it. One, I was going to say, one of you is going to have the pace to get on the end of it. Alexis gets it into Lacazette. Lacazette will turn. Lacazette will not finish because Forster makes a save. Asensio, I shouldn't have shot there. He's touched him too far wide. I'd already committed it, unfortunately. Or committed to the shot, unfortunately. So, no second goal. Fraser Forster denied Lacazette his and our second, but we are 1-0 up at half-time. If I can get a second, I might rest a couple of people, if I can, so that I can play them against uh, Borussia Mucci and Gladbach as well midweek. But a positive first half. Cedric with a nice ball into Charlie Austin. Support here from Dusan Tadic, who has a decent left foot. We got the tackle in once, but Tadic then won it back. Ah, yes, Alexis. Someone's going to get there, and it is Alexis. Casemiro forward to Asensio. I've got two people here with me. In fact, I've got three people here with me. I don't even see Coquelin on the far side. A pass from Coquelin into Lacazette. 
I should have committed to doing one thing, not the other, and I couldn't decide what to do. Essentially, with a lovely turn. Let's look finesse. Look, blah, start that again. Let's look to finesse that. It's well blocked by Cedric. Just got a donation as that shot came in. Bear with me. I'll read it in a moment. Uh, Manolas could be underneath this. He is, but why has he not just caught that Fraser Force? So that's odd. Good ball back in, headed away by Maya Yoshida. And lay this in front of Casemiro. Put it back there to Francis Coquelin. Look for Tomo Lamar. Can he turn the defender? He's done well. Lamar, can he score a great goal? No, because Lacazette's in the way. <sighs> Never mind. Comfortable for Fraser Forster, that one. Or a lot more comfortable than the previous two, anyway. We might still create something. Asensio. There's Alexis. There's Lacazette. Is Alexis going to go again? He is, but I've run straight into Ryan Bertrand. Coquelin. Let's go to Alexis. Asensio's made a good run forward. And through that gap is Lacazette. Now, can we drop the shoulder on Virgil van Dijk? Yes, we can. Can I race around the outside of him? No, I can't. But it will drop here to Granit Xhaka. He'll lay that back into Lamar. Quickly to Coquelin. Turn again to Asensio, who can turn and not finish because Fraser Forster is about 7,000 feet long. Lamar with the effort, and that's well wide. It's going to be a goal kick. Oh, nearly. Nearly 2 0. Been trying to get the second goal for ages, but it just won't come. Pierin just got man of the match. I'm not sure about that. That's giving him a rapturous warm applause, though. Chaka to Lamar, in there to Lacazette, rolls the defender well, we will get it around the corner here into Asensio, and Lacazette's gone again, I'm going to poke this around the corner here to Nacho Monreal, and then I'm going to go back in there to Oxley chamberlain who oh, will not score us a second, very close, flashing past the post, but it looks like it's going to be a 1-0 win here, I've done enough to get a second goal, but unfortunately... It just hasn't quite materialised. We've created enough chances and perhaps I should have scored a second goal. That was a poor pass. Hopefully the final whistle won't be long in coming. And indeed, there it is. A 1-0 victory against Arsenal. About time we returned to winning ways in the Premier League, isn't it? And about time Alexandre Lacazette scored a goal as well. So that is going to give us a much-needed three points. Spurs only able to get a 2-2 draw away from home against Stoke. Huddersfield win away from home against Burnley. Watford beat West Ham. Palace win at St James's Park. What do you want? Oh, OK. You're happy. Cool. Cool story, Francis. Right. Um, not sure what to do with this Borussia, Borussia Mönchengladbach game, to be honest. We do have a very tough group, so I, I can't really prioritise one... I can't really prioritise one game over another at the minute. Who else have we got in our group? Monaco and Juventus. Right. Yeah, I can't really prioritise anyone there, can I? Other than perhaps you'd say Juventus. But Marouche and Gladbach and Monaco are going to be just as difficult opponents, you would have thought. So we'll head into this game against Marouche, Borussia Mucha. Why am I struggling to say Borussia Mucha and Gladbach so much? Uh, we'll play in our away kit. Uh, see, got a game at the weekend against Huddersfield. I'm, I'm going to. Oh, I thought I pressed the wrong button there, but I didn't. I panicked for a moment. Right. Let's take Bayern out. And put Kalasinac, Kalashinac, sorry, at right back. Jack Walshu is fit again, which is good news. So we'll play him alongside Sergio Roberto. Uh, let's give Balde Cater a game for Sanchez. And Lamar can come out for the Ox. He said Diop can go in there for Manolas. And do we give? No. No, I was contemplating giving. Yeah, I was contemplating giving Czech a rest, but I won't. I won't. We'll play Borussia Mönchengladbach away from home in the rain. Real on the overlap. This is a good move. Thank you for dropping the shoulder there, Ertzel. He's turned well. Messer Ertzel, oh, back in Germany, but can't find the back of the net. Oxley chamberlain does keep that in, however. It's going to drop here. I'm going to have to try and roll the man that's with me. Kalashinats has done well. Will shit. We'll look for Ertzel again. He's hit the bar once. We find the space on his left, not really. I can't find the pass, and they're going to come away with it. Well, the first chance goes my way, but the woodwork in the way. Come here. Come here. He's too fast. He's just too fast. He's going to try and turn back on that left. I thought he would. Oh, that's a good cross. No! It's fine. It's fine. Didn't. Don't panic. I didn't. Much. Wide of the post with the header. Where's she nets? On the breakaway. I want this defender number 25 to come to me, but he hasn't. So Chamberlain, oh, it's a nice turn. And we'll poke it in, and we'll square it across. And it should be, and he is 1-0. Lacazette only just got to it, but I couldn't do anything other than square it there, really. It, was the, it wasn't the only option I had. I could have shot with Ertzel, but with the defender closing me down, I would have had to have gotten it onto his left foot and run the risk of getting tackled. So square it across to Lacazette. Throws his studs at it, down into the ground. 
Keeper beaten. We lead 1-0 thanks to Alexandre Lacazette for the second game in a row. Kramer. It's Raphael. Struggle. Thankfully, Traore isn't on the overlap this time, but here's Patrick Herman, and he's just as fast. Thankfully, we've got the tackle in, and fairly so too. We go for a counter before the referee blows for half time. Yes is the answer. Balde Keita is here. And so we'll keep that run going. On the overlap is Nacho Monreal. It's Lacazette. Help it on. Balde Keita. Good turn. Balde Keita for two. No, over the bar, and half time arrives. Frustrated he couldn't keep that down, to be honest, by their cater. Never mind. Into the second half we go. Bayern drawing 0-0 with PSV. Bruges 1-0 up against uh, Atletico Madrid. Interesting. Barca 2-0 up against Basel. The other game in our group is 0-0 between Juventus and Monaco. And Leicester holding Lyon to a 0-0 draw as well. Right. Second half. Monreal through there to Wilshire. Exactly the obvious man to run through on his own. But Alex oxlade chamberlain has the pace to cause some problems. We'll pull that back to Lacazette. Forward to Mesa Ertzil, in there to Sergio Roberto. It's not Sergio Roberto, it's Nacho Monreal who has the shot that's blocked. Waiting for Balakater to get ahead of me before I play the pass. Then mind, it's gone to Lacazette anyway. It's Mesa Ertzil. There is space on this far side for Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Can he finish the game off? Yes, he can. Top finish from Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. We are going to get a victory from our first game in the Champions League by two goals to nil, not by a single one. Really good finish, actually, from that position. Great strike. I'll take that. 2 0. Alin Nacho, it's not a foul ref, good boy. Oh, I've hurt Torgan Hazard, I apologise. Mucha Gladbach, that wasn't the intention. Play it through, looking for Lacazette, and it will reach him. And he's going to drop the shoulder on Oscar Vent as well. And Alexandre Lacazette is not going to make it 3-0. Because he hasn't hit the target. Needed to do better there. I tried to get it to go back across goal into the bottom corner and kind of trickle and roll in and wrong foot the keeper, but that didn't go according to plan, did it? Win this header, please, Nacho. Well, he didn't, but God, in fact, Kola Zizek's brought that down brilliantly. And what a ball in! Oh, check with a save. I think it was Andre Hahn in the middle, got to the cross, and Torgan Hazard with the overhead kick. As I kick this out, that should be the final whistle, but they came close there to getting one back. If it wasn't for the, action, wasn't for the reactions of Petr Cech, then they'd have gotten themselves a goal back. And goal difference could be important in a group with four teams that are this good. We get the victory, though. What happened in the other game? They only had two shots, Mujic Gladbach, and they were those two at the end there. Didn't really create much. The other game was 1-0 to Juventus. They just snuck a victory. They just snuck a victory, and... Uh, the Belgians beat the Spaniards. Atleti losing 2-1. Besiktas beat the Spaniards as well. Sevilla losing 2-1. Didn't expect that. Uh, international jobs might be on the way. Right, let's go and do a squad report then to round out this episode. Right, squad report time. Unfortunately, because uh, it's all being done on the live stream, I can't move myself out of the way of the stats at the bottom here. So for the sake of Petr Cech, who's a goalkeeper, I'll do this. And you can see that... Uh, his kicking has gone down too, but the rest of his stats are the same. So uh, Petr Cech with six clean sheets in seven games so far this season. We've kept five clean sheets in all of our competitive games so far this year. So we are yet to concede a goal in competitive play. That's good news. Hector Berrien is growing everywhere, but apart from mentally actually. But uh, no overall growth as of yet, but I'm sure that will come in due uh, course. Mustafi's also growing, which is good news. And Lauren Koscielny, no growth from him, but no, I guess crucially, with him being 31 years old, no decline from him either, which is vital. Nacho Monreal is starting to decline, to decline a little bit, which is a little bit concerning. We'll address that in January, perhaps, because I like Monreal, and I want him to be my first team left back, but we might need to consider selling him on. Uh, Casemiro is growing. He's come in and been rock solid for me. Very pleased with him this season so far. Granit Xhaka hasn't featured as much as he might have liked. Uh, since the, the arrival of Casemiro and Sergio Roberto, etc. But uh, still growing, which is good news. Lamar is up one. No assists or goals from him so far, though, which is frustrating. But it's, a, it's still the very beginning of the season, so we don't have to worry about that. Alexis, one goal, three assists. Although that one goal came in pre-season and in his, his, two of his three assists came in the Premier League. So far in the Premier League, not been as effective as I might like him to be, but... Uh, he is playing left mid, not left wing. Maybe I'll switch to a 4-3-3, but I, I, oh, I could do, I guess, with a cam and two centre mids. I could do. Uh, Mesut Ertzil is growing. Uh, one goal, four assists for him so far this season. The goal and one assist coming in pre-season, of course. Alexandre Lacazette on the score sheet for the first time in a couple of games today. Uh, a goal in the Champions League and in the Premier League. Five in eight now for him, including two in three in pre-season and the one assist coming there as well. But growing, which is good news. 
Asensio growing and five goals, one assist. Five goals, no assist, sorry. Five goals uh, in seven games. One goal in one game in the Football League Cup. Four and four in pre-season. Not yet hit the ground running in the Premier League, but there's plenty of time for him to do so. Valde Keita has grown up one, which is good, but he hasn't really featured that much. So the fact that he's growing more so than others is actually quite surprising. Sergio Roberto is growing well. Obviously, utilising him more as a centre mid than a centre back. Oh, than a right back, sorry, right now. But two clean sheets in both of his games that he's played so far. Oxley Chamberlain got the goal in that game against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Two assists this year as well. One coming in the Football League Cup. Hoping that he'll grow a little, kind of off his own back more so than anything else, to be honest. Uh, Manolas is growing a little bit as well. But he's not featured that heavily, actually. You guys seem to prefer Mustafi and Koscielny as a partnership. But Manolas will be very important when Koscielny either retires or moves on. Coquelin is growing, despite not featuring that heavily. Which can only be good news, I guess. Aaron Ramsey is featured fairly heavily, although the majority of those have been substitute appearances. Nine games for him so far this season in all comps. Weber is growing. Again, let me move myself out of the way so you can see... 71 reflexes, 66 handling to go with his 72 diving and 67 kicking. His positioning is woeful, but hopefully that will improve in due course. Uh, Issa Diop is growing despite only one game in the Football League Cup so far. That will change, of course, in the next episode against Tottenham. Uh, in fact, he may play, I may play him against Huddersfield and play a stronger. Hmm, I'll think about that. Kasper Dolberg has played one game in the Football League Cup, got himself an assist. And uh, I haven't played with him too much yet, but obviously that will change over the course of the season. Rob Holding is up 2 to 72. We are training him, though. So that'll be why he's seen a little bit more growth. Alex Iwobi up one. He'll be getting a game in the next couple of games too. Kolasinac is uh, not growing that much, but still had a, a solid start to uh, proceedings here. Very good Premier League debut. A goal and a clean sheet, a 9.0 overall. Martinez not played for me. Oh, no, rephrase. He played one in pre-season apparently. Gabriel uh, featured in pre-season, not featured yet. I want to move him on. Lucas Perez want to move him on in January. Played one game for me in the Premier League. Got an 8.4 for some reason. Not entirely too sure how. Jack Wilshere is up one, although we're contemplating moving him on as well. Kieran Gibbs, we're definitely going to move him on. He's transfer listed at present. And then it's just the uh, the youngsters that are out on loan, of which there are a number. How's Callum Chambers getting on? Two clean sheets in two Football League Cup games. But Middlesbrough, of course, now in the Championship in this save, with the uh, leagues being updated. So can't see how many games he's played domestically. Uh, uh, well, in the league, that is. And no one else really looking like they're doing much out on loan. Jeff Rayner Adelaide, uh, Adelaide has grown a little bit, though, at Crawley, which is good news. Crawley. At Grimsby. Uh, but nobody else really showing any real sort of growth. So let's end this episode by showing you the league table, where we find ourselves sat in sixth. But we have a game in hand on three of the five teams above us. Said game in hand could see us go as high as second if Palace and Manchester City fail to win. So... We're still doing very well. Chelsea, Palace, Watford, ourselves, Bournemouth and Huddersfield all still undefeated. Brighton, bottom of the table, we yet to pick up a point. West Ham only have one, Swansea only two. But we're still in extremely early days here. But that's going to bring this episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more of this series. Follow me on Twitch. Link in the description down below. Come and join these live streams because uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of people in the live streams. And uh, it'd be great if some of you would come across that haven't been across yet and join me in the uh, in the live chat for when that happens. Follow me on Twitter and uh, I tweet out when I go live. Or like I say, if you follow the Twitch channel, you'll get a notification. But for now, that's all for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow, or no, not tomorrow. When will you see this? Tuesday. Thursday, we will have Huddersfield, Tottenham and Chelsea. Big one coming up. I'll see you then.